This is $100, and that is Universal Studios. And today, we're gonna see how much food we can get while staying under this $100 budget. We've got a lot of food to get to today. At least, I think we do, so we're gonna get right into it. We're starting off at the crepe stand, which is probably both of our favorite food here in studios. This right here is the Bananas Foster Creme Brulee Crepe. I don't like bananas, so I don't love this one, but Tyler really enjoys it. We usually get the brisket crepe, but because this is a seasonal one, when this one came onto the menu, that one went away. So we're hoping when this one goes away, that one comes back. So good, but so messy. The reason Anna's not sure about how much food we're getting is because we're gonna turn this into a little bit of a game. With a game, there are some rules. Rule number one, Anna has to order all the food today so I can't see any prices. Rule two, I can't look at the app or any of the receipts to keep track of how much money we've spent. No, no, you're not allowed to do that. And rule three, I have to get as close to $100 as possible, but if I go even one cent over, I lose. What do I lose? Well, if I don't get it exactly right, I don't get to eat for a fortnight. Okay, that, that's not true. I, we don't really have a consequence if I, if I lose, but let's go eat. So I do have a little bit of strategy that I'm going with today. Uh, I'm gonna try to get as much food as possible. If you're gonna spend $100, you might as well get a lot of food, which is why I got these carne asada tacos from Bubble Bee Man Tacos. This wasn't the original plan. I was thinking about getting the big pink donut, but I couldn't remember how much that cost, and I think I know how much the tacos are, but now that I've gotten them, I'm, I'm still not sure. I forgot how basic these were. Like, there's a reason we don't get these very often is because they're just basic tacos. Like, they're not, they're not terrible. It's just there's so many good tacos in the world, and these aren't one of them. Y'all be honest, I don't know if I've even had a Bumblebee taco since they got rid of the Korean barbecue one. That one was good. I wish they'd bring it back. Isn't Springfield just like the coolest place ever? You have Barb Lad Donuts, you have Duff Brewery, you have Moe's, and then inside of Moe's there's a love tester that is just so accurate. And then there's Krusty Burger and of course, I had to get a Krusty Burger. There were a lot more fries than this in here, but from the time that I purchased this and then got to the seat, several of them disappeared, especially the ones like this, because they're my favorite. This is the first time I've ever had a Krusty Burger with all the components though, because I recently decided that I'm cool with all sauces and I didn't used to be, so I've never tried it with the special sauce. Tastes like cheese, and I like cheese. All right, Anna is over there getting the jacket potato. I'm in trouble. I don't know what things cost anymore. Like, the prices change in the theme park so often. And I'm gonna be 100% honest here, I don't even remember how many things we've gotten. How do y'all take your potato? I like a loaded one with uh, no sour cream, so that's what we got. The shepherd's pie potato is really good too, but that's like a under 70 degrees kind of thing. It's like basically like stew on a potato. When Tyler mentioned his strategy, I had a feeling we'd be getting a jacket potato because these things are hefty. They're good too. Like it's a baked potato. You can't really go wrong with a baked potato loaded with whatever you choose to order. I love potatoes. Like if I were to make my own personal food pyramid, the bottom of it would be potatoes. And then the middle of it would be cotton candy, preferably blue, but pink is acceptable as well. And then the very top would be french fries. I know I already said potatoes and like french fries are technically potatoes, but they just deserve a category all of their own. I'd probably have cheese in there somewhere too. So I guess a fourth one. I don't know where to fall though, but I like cheese. Yeah, like I said, I wanna get stuff that's a lot of food for the money, especially when this thing only costs she didn't break. I was hoping she would say something. Um, that strategy failed. But this isn't the only thing I'm gonna get. It's like a lot of food for insert price. Uh, I've got a couple of other things that are just like so much food for an amount of monies. This next item wasn't really on my mind until we walked past Diagon Alley. Uh, Cause it's probably gonna be the cheapest thing we get all day. And I bet most of you have never even heard of this. So this is the chicken hand pie and it's hot from uh, the hopping pot in Diagon Alley. 
it is very hot. Uh, I didn't know that these even existed myself until like a couple months ago. I thought it was only the beef pasties, which we've shown on the channel a couple of times. But now you can get this. And I think I remember it being relatively cheap, like $6. It was definitely $9.49. At least that's my hope based on the other things and the head math that I'm trying to do. Head math is very difficult. Hey now, chicken ham pie, more like chicken hands in the air pie. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I, I, I enjoy that. I could, I could get this again. Oh, oh, like a puppy dragon. I think it's hot. I think this might actually be better than the beef pasties. I don't really know why, but I like it. In front of me, I have two caprese sandwiches. And no, they both don't count towards the total. Only the cheaper one, which is why I got them both. I'm trying to demonstrate something. So the one on the left with the black plate, that is from San Francisco Bakery, and it is $13.49. The one on the right is from Today Cafe, and it's $14.99. So that just demonstrates that sometimes it's not what you get, it's where you get it. And you may be wondering why I know the price of all of these things, or both of these at least. It's because I see these charges on, my, on the credit card like all the time, uh, especially this one from Today Cafe. I see $14.99 on the credit card at least twice a week. What's funny is I've never actually tried the sandwiches back to back to compare them, and they're both really, really good. I don't know if I have a favorite between these, but I do have a favorite when it comes to the potato salad. The potato salad at the Today Cafe is so much better. I'm going to continue to spend $14.99 on this sandwich just because this potato salad right here is worth the $1.50 extra. So throughout the video, you may have noticed that we've been shown a total price of everything that we've bought. But that, my friends, <laughs> that ends right now. It, it's actually not that serious. It's, it's just to create intrigue, and also I feel like I want you guys to play the game with me. I feel like we've eaten a lot of food. Like I'm starting to get a little full. Like, are you are you worried about your total at all? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm really, really worried. When you're in New York, you gotta get some pizza. When Tyler told me where we were headed next, I agreed uh, because it's a theme park and this is like a theme park staple. Also, this is a lot of food. Like this is one slice of pizza. They do call it a mega slice and it is mega. A uh, little pro tip though, they cut each pizza into four of these. And so if you have a large family, you could get four slices or you could get a whole pizza and the whole pizza is cheaper than four slices. Mm. Louis is so good. Like there are a lot of pizza places at this park, but Louis is consistently the best. Okay, these next two items, one of them's like a new favorite in the park. It's new to the parks. Uh, and then the other one, it's the most food I think we're gonna get all day, but it also may be exactly what puts us over budget. So this is the new chicken sandwich from Mel's Drive-In. I say new because they just redid their menu and this is now the chicken sandwich. I think it's a good chicken sandwich and I, I do know the price of this one as well, so I'm kind of cheating. This one's which sounds kind of insane for a chicken sandwich combo, but I think it's quite in line, so like Popeyes. I mean, I don't know off the top of my head, but I think it's $10.79 for their chicken sandwich combo, $4.99 for their a la carte chicken sandwich, and then at Chick-fil-A, it's $9.29 and $5.25. Uh, those are just complete guesses. I don't eat enough chicken sandwiches to know for sure. The fries, still very meh, is how I would put that. And also, before we go do more, I'm sorry, Popeyes, like the chicken sandwich god. Uh, this is not a Popeyes chicken sandwich, not even close, nothing is. Popeyes chicken sandwich is a delicacy and an experience. All right, this has been the one that I've been the most nervous about. Uh, this is Mel's Meatball Mountain from Minion Cafe, not Mel's. I know it's confusing, but it's okay. You can swim in the river of uncertainty. Uh, I've been nervous about this one because this is the most expensive one. I can't remember if this is $14.99 or $15.99, which could make a difference. 
uh, and also because it's piping hot and I'm about to have to pick this up because I don't play with forks. Also, I forgot to get a fork. Oh my, ow, 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 mm, so good. We have a napkin. No. We need a napkin. All right. Okay. We found the napkin. The reason I wanted to get that, even though it honestly might have put me over budget, is I think that's the most food you can get in the parks, period, like for a decent price. Like you can spend $50 on a meal, but I don't think you get that much food for $50 for $14.99 or whatever that is. I think it's a ton of food. All right. I don't think I have any more money to spend. The last thing may have really gotten me, and also, I don't think I could eat another bite. I'm so full. I've got some of this stuff in a to-go box like to take home, so I'm ready. Give me the totals. You ready to hear your things? Like, do you think you succeeded I, I with don't this? Know. I, don't know. Right. I have no idea. So starting with the crepe, that was $11.99. This is all pre-tax. The taco was also $11.99. The crusty burger was $12.99. Jacket potato, $10.99. The chicken hand pie, $9.49. The caprese sandwich, $13.49. Louis Pizza was $10.99. Mel's chicken sandwich was $12.99. And the Meatball Mountain was $15.99. So the math in my head is saying I'm over. If you add all of that up, your grand total pre-tax is $110.91. And then with tax is $117.56. So I'm over. I'm over. Um, that's okay. Uh, so the Meatball Mountain got me. Dang you, Mel's Meatball Mountain. <laughs> it did get you. But what's crazy is that when we purchase things in the park, we get a 15% discount because we have like the premier annual pass. So we get that off of food. The price, if you take the discount off, even after tax, comes in at $99.93. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, what can I say? I like, I'm just, uh, I'm really good at this, uh, but I'm gonna be 100%. We were playing the game without the discount. I got close with the discount. I guess it's like, I'm just so used to having that discount. That's where my mind was going. <laughs> like those are the prices hey, you know? Hey, that's really close though, seven cents. Can't give them anything for seven cents. I feel like that counts. Seven cents is actually pretty solid. Like, uh, it was a fun challenge. If you wanna see this in another part, let us know. If you wanna know how to save seven cents or maybe even more money, you should check out this video right up here. And I really like that one. She's standing over there smiling because she knows that was a good transition. But anyways, thanks for hanging out and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.